Good afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Monday, July 6th, 2020. Uh, we are recording this on the day that it is going out. Uh, I spent much of last week on vacation, um, or at least in different parts of my house uh, than in this room. So we now have a couple latches that had been broken that are now fixed. Um, and, uh, and a little bit of R&R &R time, um, vacation in the age of coronavirus looks a little different than it has in past years, but it is good to be back with you. We spent last week uh, talking about some questions that had come up um, from members of the congregation watching this, um, and there were questions that we didn't get to. And a, a wide variety of them um, relate to the relationship between Unitarian Universalism and institutional Christianity. And, and this comes up every time we solicit questions. Um, so what I'd like to do this week is really take that relationship and spend some time talking about it. Because I, I think it's an important thing that we, that we spend time on thinking about and being intentional about what that relationship is. So one of these questions that came up, I'm, I'm just going to quote the question to me in full uh, and then probably spend a week unpacking it. But the question is this. You, meaning Oscar, attended the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship at General Assembly. What does being a Christian mean to you? I think of Christianity as being synonymous with Trinitarianism and the belief in the infallibility of the Bible. So we're going to take that over a couple days. Um, first, today we'll talk about uh, who I am uh, and, and why I don't actually call myself a Christian. Tomorrow we'll talk uh, a little bit about the fact that even though that's true, I did go to seminary in a Christian context and this, this question of interaction is really important to me. Then we'll take up this question of Christianity as Trinitarianism or infallibility. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit on Friday about the uh, the purpose of the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship and why it's there and why it's important. So let's take this first piece. What does being a Christian mean to you? I think to me, um, we should start with what the foundational belief of Christianity is uh, and, and its sort of self-definition what makes one a Christian. In most contexts, it's some version of this, a belief that Jesus is the Messiah and that salvation is connected to the person of Jesus. And in this narrow definition, I am not actually Christian. I, I don't claim that label for myself. As a, a side note, maybe for a different time, um, I was never baptized, which in most traditions is an important part about claiming that identity. For myself, I'm Unitarian and Universalists, and our denomination's roots in Christianity and eventual points of departure from Christianity more or less mirror my own. For me, I'm a Universalist first. I believe that we are all going to the same place, more or less, and that there are many ways of making meaning in the world. And so what matters most is not what happens after death, but what we do here, now, with each other in each day. That, not for nothing, is humanism. Not necessarily secular humanism. It would be a strange career choice indeed for me to claim that particular label. But an agnostic humanism that focuses on the here and now and leaves some questions intentionally unanswered. One of the definitions of a minister I learned in seminary, maybe that's a whole different series of updates, is that the minister is the resident theologian in a community, taking theology and finding ways to preach it and apply it to day-to-day -day life. And this is not a bad job. So if I take that role seriously, you should know that my basic theological orientation is universalist, Unitarian, more or less, humanist, agnostic, probably in about that order. And because people are complicated, I attended a Methodist seminary 
and serve on the national board of the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship. So we're going to spend this week's daily videos unpacking that relationship a little bit. Our Unitarian Universalist Christian, our Unitarian Universalist faith grew out of liberal Christianity, but our relationship with the institution of the Christian church is a complex one. So how do we navigate that relationship, both as individuals and as a church? More on that tomorrow. <laughs>